Hey guys, Kev here, and I wanted to talk about some Urban EDC exclusives. So they sent me some exclusives to check out, which I thought was really cool. And uh, these are unique. They are um, exclusive variants of, in the way that I don't normally get into. And these aren't mine, but um, I wanted to check them out because I, I think it's cool to check out new things, see maybe if... I've changed my mind or not, that kind of thing. I also wanted to show you some other knives they have that are exclusives. But <clears throat> real quick, we'll start off with the uh, Arcane Design Pratheon. So this is their exclusive, which has the uh, stonewashed gray titanium handles, 20 CV uh, belt satin blade, and then you have black hardware. And you have these bronze inlays which i think are really cool um they don't add a ton of weight so for me this one's actually like feasible like this is one that i would probably pick up if i didn't already have uh one of these knives i actually had two and i sold one um absolutely love this model uh it's one of my favorite models to come out in a while um and so the one i have where did I put it? Um, is it in my pocket? No, right here. Uh, the one I have is the PVK Vegas exclusive. So if you're interested in this version, you can always check them out. They might still have some. Um, this, one's ha this one has a carbon fiber frame and then stonewashed titanium clip and inlays and backspacer and then black hardware again, 20 CV blade. So... Um, I had the black titanium 20 CB and then I had um, Zerkutai inlays, which was really cool. But, um, you know, I had a lot of money into it. And this one just spoke to me. The, uh, the weight on this guy, um, the carbon fiber is done really well. Love the reverse flick on this knife. Um, it's one of the only knives where studs and fuller actually work for me aesthetically, right? Functionally, it's amazing because you get that awesome thumb flick, right? But you don't have the downside of a uh, not-so-fun reverse flick where you have to go off the studs every time. You can actually use the fuller and flick it like a normal reverse flick. Um, so I love this model. And seeing it with this bronze is actually really cool. Um, so this is one that if I had, like, you know, unlimited funds or something... I'd probably pick up because it's a good contrast. It has the bronze, the the uh, stonewash tie, and not um, not black, right? It's not very similar like my other one was. Um, it actually has a good contrast. Uh, but I don't have unlimited funds, and these are, you know, um, they're not cheap. But um, I think this one's actually pretty reasonable. I think it's like three... Um, well, reasonable in a sense, but I think it's like 380, something like that. Um, could be less. I'm not sure. Um, I will link these all in the description. So if you're interested, um, definitely, uh, check it out. At least the ones that are available, I'll link. So this is the Arcane Pratheon. Really think this is a cool exclusive. Um, and again, it's one I probably would have picked up if that carbon fiber one wasn't already in the collection then the next one is the luft concepts avant or avnt and i've had a couple of these as well I, I recently actually had the titanium version with zerk accents i did sell that knife uh mine had a slight bit of lock stick and then i sent it back they sent me uh, a new one that one I, I didn't love the detent on it um so i did tune it which made it you know fine it was basically like this um but i don't know i just uh, the tip thing i can't seem to get over this belly to the tip thing um and then having the longer hole where i can so easily fail it from the bottom even though i know that i just need to flick it from the top it's just a mental thing um, so that design and I just don't get along, but I, I, I like the company. I love the people behind it. So I kind of support it anyway. You know what I mean? And this one has some good acoustics. Oh, 
I don't know if you can hear it, but there's like a slight ting occasionally. Um, I don't think it comes across, but something we all wanted from the prototypes because they had this amazing ting, but we didn't get in the production ones. Um, this one has a little bit of it, but beautiful hollow grind. What stands out to me on this particular exclusive, which the exclusive part is acid etch blade, and then you have brass scales. This is a full slab of brass here. And then this side is cut out for the uh, liner, but still a chunk of brass. You have your wire clip, all black accents, and then Zerk on the collars and the backspacer, which is cool. Um, but what stands out to me here is the blade. Um, this is one of the sexiest acid washes I have seen from Riot. Um, it's seriously amazing. I mean, it's better than the one on my Maverick S I had. It's better than, you know, some of the ones I've seen in the past from them or from other, uh, companies. I really dig this. Um, I think they did an absolutely fantastic job on this exclusive. Now, um, this is not going to be for me, right? Where that Praytheon is because it doesn't have uh slabs of bronze or whatever it just has these inlays that are not super heavy it does add a little weight but not much um this one is hefty right this is like getting a brass f5.5 and you know so i'm just not a patina guy and i'm definitely not a uh you know heavy metals guy i think we're off center here maybe that's why it's giving us the ting let me just tighten this up this is a model you definitely need to lock tight um, cause it will walk on you. Detent solid on this guy. Um, but yeah, so, uh, a lot of brass here, hefty guy. It's just unique, right? It, uh, to me, it's unique. You don't see a lot of, uh, knives built in this fashion from brands like this. Um, but, uh, Urban EDC likes to rock the brass, the bronze, the coppers, stuff like that. So I think this one's cool. So those are the two exclusives I have here that I wanted to show you. Um, the Praytheon and the AVNT. And one of the reasons I wanted to show these off, at least at the current moment, is that these are available. So a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that I get that I show you is not available anymore, right? Like, it's just a matter of timing and, you know, my videos post weeks after I film them. I, I like popular things, I guess. I don't know. But a lot of times things are hard to get. And it's just how the knife world works. These are both in stock right now. Um, they weren't, like, heavily advertised, I don't think. So it's something that, you know, I guess both sides wanted to just be able to have in stock for a little bit. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but... I didn't know they existed until they dropped, basically. And it wasn't with a bunch of fanfare, right? Um, I do think that's cool that they do that. It's kind of like a secret drop kind of model thing. And I think that's, um, I think it's awesome. And it keeps things fresh in the community a little bit. Um, so anyway, these are available linked in the description. If you use the links, it does help the channel. Um, if you're going to pick up anything at Urban EDC, you can use that link and it will help the channel out. But you don't have to do that. You can always just go over there yourself, whatever. Um, and then I just wanted to show a couple of exclusive knives since I'm doing this. Um, of course, the Urban EDC Vox F5.5. Now, not this particular version, but um, this is the titanium with a hand satin m390 and then i have a lynch clip on here um but they are always dropping new versions of this and man they just fly off the shelves it's incredible to see they've done like 20 drops of f5.5s and they all sell out within you know a week or two um so right now if i'm uh, not mistaken there might be jg10 versions available right now um so you're going to be looking at m390 belt satin and then you're gonna have uh or sorry not belt satin uh pvd so all blacked out and then you're gonna have uh jg10 scales which is kind of cool um i'm not a big fan of that uh see-through kind of thing it's kind of like ultim i'm sure we'll see an ultim one eventually 
Um, it's just kind of the fad right now, but it's not really uh, something I'm into. Uh, but anyway, point being is there's usually a version of this available at most times. So um, if you miss out, you just wait till the next Wednesday. They usually drop some kind of F5. Um, they have a pretty good stream of them coming in. So absolutely fantastic model. This is a model that like you're just good to go on. It's honestly uh, top you know, top five for me of all time knives. It's a no brainer, uh, best production knife you can get in my opinion knife that's in stock regularly. Like, no, it's not always in stock. You can catch it out of stock, but like they're always, you know, replenishing stock of this in different versions. And the secondary has to be, you know, flooded with these, um, because there's so many and that's not a bad thing. So I love the F 5.5. Another exclusive to Urban EDC is the Baby Barlow. Um, I believe there's going to be more of these coming. They have not confirmed that, but it was a rousing success, so there's really no reason for them not to go pimp on this. I would love to see some camo carbon and fat carbon come out of Urban EDC. We really need to start seeing that, but uh, they're kind of against the grain uh, people, or they're just you know behind in the sense that they've ordered stuff years you know last year for this year you know what i mean and everybody wants camo carbon now well you gotta wait until they order again so anyway uh this is a justin lundquist design absolutely fantastic one of my favorite knives again like the f5 this is not just one of my favorite knives last year or one of my favorite small knives no this is one of my favorite knives it is absolutely wonderful um it's small but it's a perfect EDC, honestly. It, it doesn't look assuming. It's unassuming, I should say. You could put this out on your desk. Nobody would care. It's small, right? Like, here's the Praytheon. It's a small knife, right? Um, here's a standard, you know, a pen, right? With a Parker refill. It's just, it's small. And it has this wonderful, uh, has this wonderful top flipper that you can utilize as a uh, front flipper like this. Or you can get behind it and do the reach around, and it is a pleasure to reach around. Um, it really feels like a bigger knife because of it. You can just hang it and bang it, and then you shake it down. I mean, it has microscopic bearings, so it actually kind of operates like a larger knife in terms of how the action is. I mean, watch this. Fires out, drops to my nail, shake down. Fires out, drops to my nail shake down i mean it has the same exact action as a knife with an extra inch or so of blade so um wonderful knife it is right hand only but i think all of these are except the uh abnt and it has this beautiful clip this is one of my favorite clips uh, ever they did a wonderful job on this um yeah every knife i own could have this clip and i would be extremely happy it hides the liner that's tucked away in there um because that's how the liner is mounted it's just one piece liner in there mounted with those screws hidden by the clip it's m390 steel stone wash just yeah it's so 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 good i love this knife with a passion so that's the baby barlow and then the last one's going to be the monaco um this is a slip that i had made so disregard that and this will come with a really really well made clip that mounts from the rear but i took the clip off so i could put it in that slip so just pretend there's a clip here um, you can mount it left or right it has a flipper tab here uh yen's anso design which is really cool and basically they say it's a worry stone as well which when i first reviewed the knife i called bullshit on that but I'll be honest, it is. Um, it really does have a worry stone finish. Until you get it in hand, you don't understand what they mean, but it feels good. Um, it's a really unique and cool knife, in my opinion. It's a knife I think uh, everybody should experience unless you just don't like small knives at all, right? Um, this is not like the Baby Barlow where it feels larger than it is. Nope, it's definitely small. It is not going to be the best cutter. The Baby Barlow has a pretty serviceable blade on it. doesn't have a, a, a very penetrating tip, but very serviceable for EDC unless you're kind of doing like hard use. Like we're going to cut a ton of cardboard, obviously. 
you don't want a knife that small. This is not going to be that. This is going to be a basic EDC knife. This is going to be a letter opener. This is going to be a package opener. This is going to be, you know, cutting into a chip bags and shit like that. This is not going to be used for anything close to medium or hard use. And that's because it has this dagger blade. Uh, so it's a dagger spear point ground only down here uh, with an edge. Um, it does need a, a new edge, I think, out of box. This one was not super sharp. It's fine, but just not super sharp. Not what I'm used to from Riot. Um, but I absolutely love the action. I mean, you have this beautiful flipper right here that you just pop like that. Detents dialed in. Drops. I mean, these knives from Ria at this size are outrageous. Um, how well the action is dialed. A dead nut centered, like... M390 again. This one's in cobalt blue. Comes in a gray and a uh, bronze as well. I think it's titanium, but it's bronze. Might be uh, actual bronze or brass. I'm not sure. But really cool knife. Has a little landing pad back here for your finger to hit that flipper tab. Uh, Yen's and so absolutely crushed it on this um all these knives are not cheap um but you know urban ec is kind of in that uh bespoke type range where you're gonna expect to pay you know uh two to three hundred dollars for most things you get from them if it's a knife this knife is somewhere around 250 bucks if i recall correctly the baby barlow is somewhere around that same range 250 to 300 the um, Avant or AVNT here in the brass scales, I'm guessing, is going to be around with Zerk. I'm guessing this one's around 380 bucks, something like that. And then this one's going to be in that same exact 380 ish dollar range. That is just what you're going to pay for a well made knife out of China, especially if multiple people are involved, such as Urban EDC and then a designer or a uh, boutique brand and then urban edc it's just how it goes these are not cheap to produce i know people think looking at you know certain things that have been leaked or whatever that knives made over there by these oems are very cheap and i'm here to tell you that's not true i have knives made myself and i know uh, these prices are are pretty good guys i mean they have to make some money, right? They have to make some money. And the dealers are taking 30%, right? You got to pay the OEM and then you got to make your own 30 to 40%, right? And it's just business. Um, none of these guys are trying to rip your face off. It's just what it costs. So you either can do it or you can't, right? Um, the only other one I had here was the Urban EDC F5.5, um, which is fantastic this one's a little bit lower on the price range and that's one thing i like about it they um they did some things here to make that happen they went with a titanium liner lock with no insert um they went with a bent steel clip i believe it might be titanium but a very simple clip on it this is a lint replacement clip but it looks like this kind of um they just didn't put a lot of bells and whistles on this guy. The the a lot of the runs are G10 or Micarta, right? And they're around $230. Um, this one's closer to 270 in titanium and M390. Um, this is a model they try hard to keep the price point down. You also have to remember this knife, this knife, this knife are their knives. And then they have a, a, a designer involved who gets, you know, whatever they get, five, ten percent. Um, so that price can come down a little bit from these, right? These are closer to 250, 300, where these are closer to 350, 400 because it's a boutique brand and then a dealer, etc. So anyway, I don't need to explain how the world works to everybody. I'm sorry. I don't think I have any other, uh, Urban EDC exclusive knives here at currently. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. So that's it, guys. Um, let me know. Oh, you know what I do have, though? I have this fidget. Um, this is the Shuffle from Loudy. Now, I don't know if this has dropped or uh, what at this point. The first version, which was a copper one with steel, that one sold out very quickly. Um, so I can't guarantee this one's going to be in stock if it dropped already. But this one's in Zerk. Uh, it's definitely going to cost a little bit more, but it's really cool looking. 
Loudy Times Urban. It's got the Sagaha pattern with um, Zerk in there. And it looks like a deck of cards with a king and an ace. It's just a really good piece. This one's broken in really nicely since I got it. I've really enjoyed it. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. If it hasn't dropped yet and you're interested in fidgets, that's a great piece. And that's an Urban EDC exclusive. So, uh, again, everything I can link will be linked down below. The This one's in stock, I believe. Should be. This one's not. Hopefully coming back. This one, maybe a version of it will be in stock. The JG10, probably. And then these two will hopefully be in stock as well when I post this. And this might be dropping. So, it's possible... Five out of six here could be in stock, but we'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I really like Urban EDC. Um, I know they're a bit niche, and some people don't like their, their way of doing things. They feel like it's pay to play and stuff like that. But I guess I've paid to play, right? I'm in their VIP thing because I've spent five grand or whatever on their stuff. Um, I can tell you from working with them personally on both Devo and Lefty EDC, they're good people. Um, they have a good mindset, and they're just trying to be different and do things a little different. They're trying to um, build a culture and a community uh, around Urban EDC. They're not trying to appeal to uh, the masses. They're not trying to be like every dealer. Um, they're not running around throwing coupon codes out or... Um, you know, it's just a different way of doing things. And I appreciate that a lot of the dealers do things differently. You know, I like how Brian at Blue Creek does things with um, lots of uh, hard-nosed knife community, like, you know, love and uh, coupon codes and stuff like that, uh, giveaways, and he's throwing memberships for YouTube channels out left and right. He's like a staple in the community, right? Um, then you have Justin from White Mountain Knives, who's just like a constant flood of new knives and has every YouTube channel under the sun has a discount code. And, um, you know, he sends loaners out the channels and stuff like that. Then you have uh, Austin at traditionalpocketknives.com, a different style. He's not a, a coupon code guy. He's got really cool marketing. Um, he has very cool tailored products that are leaning towards the traditional side. Um, he does do um, sort of discounts, but he does it a different way, right? Like he does drops with good pricing. Um, he might discount one product for a certain period. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but he's just, Austin's got a really cool style. Um, so you just have all these different dealers doing different things and I love them all. And Urban EDC has this sort of community niche type thing. Um, and they're trying to build a, a, a culture, um, is the best way for me to put it. They have a cultural type deal. Um, and then they have these cool gear drops every week where they, they cater together different products that match. Like you might've noticed the week these two dropped, you had a lot of patina stuff, right? You had a lot of copper, like this and copper dropped at the same time. Other pieces in copper dropped. And then you'll probably see when they drop this one in Zerk, they'll probably have some other products that come in that colorway. And that's how they do it. Um, and I just think it's cool. So uh, that's my take on it. Here's some products from Urban EDC. Check the link out down below if you want to. If you don't want to, doesn't matter. Um, I'm here to just ramble and talk about knives, and I love it. So I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Shout out to Urban EDC for sending these my way to check out. These are not mine. They didn't give me these. It's just loaners for me to uh, check out. And uh, yeah, so I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.